So now I'm a little further down the line as the head of HR. I have my good vision insurance company. Should a good vision insurance company keep after getting more doctors to, I think you call them getting onto the panels, getting more eye doctors to help because I may have new employees, they may have different doctors. What should a good vision insurance company do when it comes to getting more doctors as time goes on? They should continue to, to try to, if they don't have all doctors, <laughs> add all doctors. I mean, no company's going to have everybody. Sure. Um, but yeah, there, there's typically a department in place, maybe a provider relation or even a department who specifically solicits um, and tries to grow the panel, you know, retail as well. Maybe you can add it a few hundred at a time if there's a big retail chain, something of that nature. But yeah, private practice doctors should be the ongoing you know, outreach. And so you're talking about some retail ones. We, we may be able to add them nationally from the insurance company standpoint that my employees can then participate with. Yeah, in a way, it could be easier. Just larger numbers, in other words. Yeah. Uh, but with private practice, there should always be continuous outreach. Because again, you're not going to know, I would imagine, every doctor out there. I'm sure there's doctors graduating every day and practices opening every day. So what if my employee comes in and says, you know, I've been using Dr. A, but I just discovered Dr. B, and comes to me as the head of HR. Can I suggest that doctor into the insurance company to say, see if we can get that doc, what do I do at that point to get that doctor as uh, part of the, uh, the network? Make a call to your account manager <laughs> would be one way. Yeah. Or some companies uh, probably have a space to refer a doctor right on their website. Ah. Uh, again, sometimes there's a, I've even seen paper, which is more old fashioned. Yes. Uh, but yeah, I would uh, hope that most companies are willing to, to make an effort to. So they ought to have get, to bring a doctor on if they're not on there and it's specifically requested. They should have a proactive program going on on getting doctors all the time. Correct. And then if in that local market, somebody from within my company says, hey, this guy's a good guy, good woman, good doctor, let's add this person. They can make the suggestion. They can refer a doctor, whatever it is, right. to get that person. And it's there. always up to the doctor, obviously. Yes. Uh, you know, they're going to look at what the carrier reimburses and things of that nature. Uh, if it's a losing proposition for a doctor, they may not want to. Some some doctors refuse to take any type of insurance. Yeah, some just want cash only, and it, it's pretty tough. In the medical field, they're starting to see doctors more, um, more and more. Right? Yeah. Uh, that's a whole different <laughs> story. It is a whole different story, but we know that we have to make sure that we have great customer service in the terrific vision insurance company. Right. That we don't have to worry about that sort of thing. I mean, I. You know, I, I go to my dentist, for instance, and he's got somebody on staff who does nothing but all the paperwork. Right. And you're saying, well, no wonder he has to charge me more if he's doing all that. But I want to make sure that I can get in there to talk to somebody in my vision care if I have a question. Right. I, I still think vision all around is easier for everybody, hopefully the doctors. Uh, carriers still have a lot to, to do and work with, but there should be less paperwork. I, I sometimes say, thank God I'm in vision. Yes, uh, and as that's opposed the to the medical, yeah. Yes, especially these days. Yeah, it'd be pretty tough. Pretty tough.